I thought that a person will not just observe the scenery from a single point or relax in a gazebo near the pond, but will also walk from time to time. I thought there must be a route of some sort. Not far from Chesterfield in England, there's a very unusual structure that is much loved by tourists. It's called Madame Cherie's Stairs. It is a stone stairway that ends abruptly. It is located in a picturesque forest. This gorgeous stairway is only one drawback. After you've ascended the stairs, you end up in mid-air with nothing in front of you. There's nothing to surprise you. Today, I would like to be surprised. I propose that we ascend another stairway. It is gorgeous as well. Let's see what awaits us above. This can be a source of a waterfall for a person you would gladly talk to. Let's get started. Before we start our ascent, I would like to tell you about this project in Skolkovo that we are visiting today. We are very proud of this project and love it very much. We created a natural environment on a land area of one hectare. This environment includes rocks, rich vegetation, and the cascading waterfall that forms a pond in the park. Almost all natural objects are located on this 17-meter-high slope. The strongly emphasized vertical arrangement of the plot makes it very convenient for observing the scenery. But it is very difficult to move around the slope without stairs. But we are lucky to have a staircase here. Before we ascend the stairway, let us review the general plot plan. We can see that the staircases divide the plot into multiple zones with their unique ecosystems. For example, here you can find rocks and the waterfall I have already mentioned. Here, green space is located. All this contributes to the picturesque view. Various colors and styles are very pleasant to observe. Gardening here has been performed only recently. This plot with planted vegetation will get new colors next year. It will look brighter and more impressive. In one year, it will be very scenic. I recommend watching the video where we talked to a landscape designer who worked on this project in Skolkovo. It was a very insightful interview. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to the Seven Miraculous Studios YouTube channel. This way you'll stay tuned to our videos. Feel free to like this video and leave a comment. This will encourage our specialists. And don't forget to press the bell icon. We are starting to ascend our vertical path. I've called the stairs a path intentionally. It serves a very important purpose for moving around. All our staircases are intended for walking around the plot. And this stairway is a part of a larger scale design. It is supposed to harmonize the area, bringing together other objects like the house, the garden, the bathing zone, the adjoining territory, and the pond. While designing these stairways, it was necessary to take into account several important requirements. First, the stairway had to fit with the natural landscape and be in accord with other objects. It is very difficult to pretend that it is not a man-made object, but it is possible to conceal it. The second requirement was safety. The underlying technology we used for the staircase is the same as with the stones. There is a steelwork with a reinforcing net covered with concrete and a decorative layer. Such a stair can carry a large load and ensures the safety of its users. The third requirement was convenience. The surface and the geometrical pattern of each stair are unique. Despite this, its dimensions and parameters are close to being considered a paragon in the world of stairways. Dmitry Kirillov, the founder and CEO of the Seven Miraculous Studio, told me how pathways and staircases appeared here. The park is large. The surface area is approximately one hectare. I thought that you will not just observe the scenery from a single point or relax in a gazebo near the pond, but will also walk from time to time. A pathway, a route had to be arranged somehow. First, we added this stairway that goes up. Then, we added an adjacent staircase. And then we added other ones. A walking route presented itself. 
These staircases are made partially from architectural concrete and partially from natural stone. You can see the differences between them. Both look as if they were made from natural stone. But you can walk on natural stone only in hiking or training shoes. Its surface is uneven, slippery and crumbly. This is a natural stone, but originally it is not supposed to be walked on. To create a staircase from natural stone, you have to go over dozens or even hundreds of stones and pick just one with a suitable size and shape. You can see here that we failed to achieve this goal completely. You see, some of them are askew, and the junction is too small. On the other hand, the staircase looks natural, but the stones match each other better. It seems more convenient for walking. Yes, because this staircase is a sculpture. A person does not see this. It does not strike the eye. The person thinks they step on stones that have been picked manually. From the usability point of view, this approach makes more sense, making the staircase much more convenient to use. As you see, this proves true. I think as time goes by, these stones might also acquire a greenish hue. They will be in visual harmony with the natural ones. Sure. Moreover, the moss on the natural stones had been brought here together with the stones. It comes from the spores on stones. Over time, rain will carry the spores to the concrete stones and moss will cover them too. These stones are moss friendly. They are its natural habitat. That is, our artificial stones will integrate into the natural environment and will take part in natural processes. Sure, we were shooting a video recently. There was a stone near the pergola and we saw small spiders there, so... Nature adapts? Yes, I think this harmony between nature and the artificial stones, where plants, Spiders and moss coexist with man-made objects makes a man perceive these artificial objects as something natural. And a person will enjoy walking these pathways despite the fact they are man-made. A person will neglect this fact and will feast their eyes on the scenery as much as nature. It is easy to trick a human mind. I wouldn't say this is a trick. This is a fairy tale, a celebration. When the view is stunning, we do not perceive it as a trick. Not at all. Nature has created this view, and we just observe it. After all, man is a child of nature. Who says that natural wonders can only be created naturally? Why can't the man contribute to the process? I'm not talking about rectangular, monolithic concrete structures. I'm talking about something like this. All this contributes to the creation of human habitats. I think this approach in architecture and development is much more efficient and balanced from a human point of view. There can't be too many staircases. I wish I could summarize the video with these words, but I can't. There is the Inca staircase in Machu Picchu and stairs on Gaztelagache in Spain. These stairs are spectacular, but it is a real hassle to get to the top. In this respect, our staircases in Skolkova are a paragon in the world of stairs. They are very convenient for ascending them. There are a lot of staircase designs. You can define the route, and after all, they are stunning, just like everything that Seven Miraculous Studio creates.